Chase do it. Should be a good one tonight. Don't go away. Coming to you live on this Tuesday night, it's the NBA on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and we'll have David Aldridge filling us in from the sideline. D.A., it's all yours. Kevin, thanks. Last season, some people called on Joel Embiid to be more aggressive. The process accepted that with humility, saying, I want to be great, and it's only right for people to expect me to drop 35 a night. At the same time, he said, I'm not a selfish player. If the defense double teams me, it's about making the right play. Kevin? David, he is showing that maturity. Thanks for that report. Let's see some of the numbers here for him. And in the last five games, he's made a bunch of hustle plays on the glass more than anywhere else. His rebounding totals in these games shows a dramatic increase in his numbers during the rest of the season. Look at the 76ers starting group. Harrison and Bede hold down the post for him. Matisse Thibel's out there with Ben Simmons, and it's Green in at the three side. for the Rockets. We've got Gordon. DeMarcus Cousins out there with P.J. Tucker. And it's Wall, and it's House, and at the small forward position. Greg is a point guard. What is it you like to see? Steve from that position on the floor. I think first and foremost, leadership right? it is so valuable at that spot. And, you know, you, you, you always got to have your head high because your teammates are feeding off what you put forth in terms of your body language. How you carry yourself out on the floor when you deal with adversity. Play. Excellent example of toughness and physicality on defense. Got his holes right in the middle of things and made a play. right now he's in the 60s and guys it's something that he's going to have to work on more and more because he's still not getting the kind of shooting percentage he would like from the line that one is off Good on the second free throw. Rockets have gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. Simmons against Wall. Here's Cousins. And the rejection by Embiid. Yeah, good energy and awareness that time by Embiid to deny that shot. And here in the first, approaching three minutes play. Got a piece. 
Reese. Now, here's Wall. Kicks to house. Pass to Gordon. Wall looking it over. Just five on the clock. Cousins trying to free himself up. Yeah, with great recognition, awareness, and body control. Simmons can get up the block. This is it to Embiid. Nice D from Cousins. And so it's Wall. He brings it up for the Houston Rockets. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Nuggets. I mean, they went into that one with the thought that they may have a chance. Uh, no. It wasn't pretty. That's definitely the case. I mean, I know they'd like to scrub that game from their memories and actually erase it from the hard drive. Now here's Wall after Ben Simmons miss. And here's Wall. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. It's stolen by Green. Oh, the line. Simmons. You know, what touch from the Australian native Ben Simmons. I mean... He's so good at staying under control, even when facing physical contact. And you talk about the perfect defensive player. Danny Green's right at the top of that list. Solid defense, good shooter, and plays within himself. That one doesn't go. It's trailed by five. Outside, Wolf. Just a cousin. Over Harris. Another miss by Houston. And Greg, the experiences that Danny Green has had over the course of his terrific career, it's hard to match. I mean, he's won multiple titles in his career, done so in different places with different types of teams. He's seen it all and knows what it takes to succeed. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. See how the West is matching up. You look at the Rockets. This hasn't been the kind of year they envision. Time running out. And seeing where the Rockets are, they've had such a disappointing season. Even when they've gotten a little bit of momentum, they haven't been able to keep it going. And when you talk about inconsistency, I think a lot of it has to go to the players. Because ultimately, they're the ones that dictate how they perform. Now here's Wall. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And the shot falls short this time. And he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. And beat against Cousins. The shot's good. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Here's Wall. He had a 27-point outing in the last game against Denver. And a lot of those points came at the free throw line. Really because of his aggression. He, he was playing the game with force, always catching his man on his heels. Connects from three-point range. 
their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. And you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that if you're on that side of the scoreboard and they are landing some haymakers now. Just doing the job on the backboard. They sure are. I mean, they've done a terrific job carving out space under the basket and then pursuing the ball. You know, it's one thing to box out, but you've got to pursue the ball if you want to get rebounds. And they look strong here in the early going. Al Gordon. 14 points from him the last game against Denver. Wall attacked. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Greg, if your system overall for these teams, if the schemes don't seem to be working, how much can you really change before you get to the offseason? Or, in particular, before you get to the playoffs? It's Shoot never two. easy. Uh, a system change would come typically with a coaching change. And the reality is you also have to evaluate the roster and, and you can't fit that square peg into a round hole. Whatever your system is, it's got to be geared to the personnel you have. You can't go the other way around. And I think that's what separates oftentimes the good coaches from the great ones. Catching up on the changes for Philadelphia. Shake Milton, he's checked in for Green. And it's Seth Curry in for Matisse Thibel. on that one so he goes one for two at the line oh well, we know the tv networks have brought more revenue greg to the nba the expectation is for another bump when they renegotiate in 2023 you know at the same time though kevin with all the cord cutters out there the league looking to make the game more accessible to those fans i expect that to be a big part of this next season on your tablet smartphone or your computer Really hard to deal with the size Cousins has when he's down there. Defense sometimes has no choice but to commit the foul. And a closer look here at the hustle stance for the 76ers. You know, they've done a great job of getting a hand up on shooters. Actually, have gotten a lot of Shoot blocks two. as well, solidifying that defensive effort. Yeah, and one thing, Clark, I've noticed is how quick their hands have been tonight. Thanks to that, they've gotten a lot of points off the tunnel. And that one falls for Cousins. You know, Cousins was part of the U.S. national team that won gold back in 2016. He said it was always a dream to play for his country, and when he got the chance, he didn't waste it. David Nwaba has checked in for John Wall. Philadelphia also making some changes. Howard comes in for Tobias Harris, and Maxie subbed in for Simmons. Here's Maxie. And there's the pass to Embiid. Here's Milton. Howard, the pass to Embiid. Porter with a clock. But they'll get another chance. And they're able to recover. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. Free throw drops for Embiid. Tell you what, when Joel Embiid is healthy, this dude is a super effective player. A polished big man with an arsenal of post moves and shots. He's a handful down there.
broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Tobias Harris. And looking at his offensive numbers from the past few years, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points, and they haven't been as easily as they used to. Now, here's Porter. And they get some nice contributions from him on a nightly basis as he averages over 11 points a game. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Well, the pass to MB. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Offensive rebound. Makes it off the glass. Embiid's got seven points in the game. Already finding his spots and capitalizing, playing really efficient basketball. Here's Mwaba. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. That's fancy ball handling right there. Since when does he take guys off the dribble? Outside Curry. Right wing. Embiid with it. He had 16 points in the win against the Pacers in Indianapolis. Yeah, but you can't talk about his performance without mentioning what he did defensively in terms of shot blocking. He was a force of nature. Now, here's Porter. Trailing by 13. These players have been vacuums on the boards recently, leading the league in rebounding the past plus. Number one is Joel Embiid. He must be spending a lot of time in the weight room because he's shown such strength under the basket. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. Hey, from role player to bona fide star, the jump Oladipo has taken has been outstanding. And he's not done yet, folks. He's continuing to grow. And so he makes both from the line. The 76ers leading by 11. Now, here's Maxi. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Snatched up. Comes up empty here. That puts him at three for six. And here's Oladipo up for the Rockets. Porter against Curry. Porter, no luck. Philadelphia shooting 43% since taking the floor today. And here's Maxi. Lets it go with a three. A shot by Milton, no good. Porter dishes to Oladipo. So far, and it's translated to the scoreboard. Well, the effort level they've had has been outstanding. Hard to keep a team down when they play with that much energy. Milton finds Howard. Fader on the way. That's off. It's his fourth miss in seven tries. 156 left in the first quarter. Now Oladipo. He's coming off a 22-point game against Denver. Yeah, and it seemed like he spent about half the game shooting free throws. Credit him for really taking it to the defense. Now, here's Maxi. 11-point game. Here's Mwaba taking a look at his numbers. He averages about seven points a game. Here's Porter. Eyes again. It's hauled in by the 76ers. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Now, here's Maxi. He's guarded by Cousins. Well, I love when Cousins uses his reach and strength the stymie shooters. Nice positioning on defense there. Oladipo, the pass to Nwaba. Back to Oladipo. And B with the steal. Now, here's Maxi. He is still scoreless so far in this one. To stop the drought. 
Embiid, the pass to Maxi. That one falls. Yeah, a nice job taking what the defenders gave him. But these guys need a gut check right now. Well, that's exactly the kind of defense that's gotten him into the hole. Now, here's Oladipo. Nineteen seconds left in the first quarter of the game. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage. Kevin. Pretty clear. They're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. Pass to Embiid. And so it's Philadelphia. 13 points up at the end of the period. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. Back to the action after this word. going on no matter how hard you want to do well or if you mess up just keep going just keep playing hard just give it your all and, um, you can live with the results after that because you know you gave it 110 percent you know Greg I haven't ever heard anyone question his effort he came into the league as a raw athlete now he's a skilled assassin And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in a second. And the 76 is at the Well, when you control the glass, then you control the second chance opportunities on both ends. And you know, their rebounding advantage has been glaring. Simply outworking them on the boards for that entire first quarter. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. And so in the game for the Rockets. They've got Ben McLemore all out there with Gordon. Then it's P.J. Tucker, and it's House, and at the power forward position. Gordon finds Tucker. On the McLemore gets it to go from beyond the arc. McLemore's got himself going there, his first points of the game on the deep ball. And that corner three, a cornerstone of P.J. Tucker's game, takes and makes them as much as anybody in the league. Back at the University of Texas, he only shot four triples in three seasons. Floor spacing was not a part of his game. It was about getting that thing in the paint. But to his credit, and it's an example for all young players, through hard work, has become his bread and butter shot. Talk about a total transformation from no threes to being a dead-eye corner three shooter. The Rockets have hit most of their free throws tonight, five of six. And, and on the season, you know, they're hitting about 76%, which is a decent rate. Yeah, it's One been shot. a very frustrating season for them in that regard, guys. Free throw drops for House. Greg is a broad been some of your favorite personalities to cover. And that's a great question. Uh, you know, most of the stars. It, it's another one that, that's a favorite. Uh, so many other guys. You know, there's so much more personality and so much more confidence these these guys have working in front of the camera. I think that just makes for a, a better experience. Somebody asked me the other day, "Who was my favorite?" You know who I said? Who was that? Greg Anthony. Oh, no. you just said that because it's true. <laughs> So here is Houston. 76ers getting the bucket. Here's Wall. The Rockets with another miss. It's just been a brutal outing for him. He still hasn't managed to make a shot. And the team is struggling because of it. Here's Howard. No good on the shot. Wall with some nice defense. Pass to House. Outside, yeah. 
launches it. Wall missing again. The 76ers leading by 13. Outside, Simmons. Pass to Howard. Here's Korkmaz. Screen by Howard. Six on the shot clock. Offensive rebound. He's now one for two with that bucket. Such a great rebounder. Athleticism and length. Dwight Howard knows how to use those gifts that he possesses. Inside, here's Tucker. And that comes off the assist by John Wall. Great pass. John Wall is really good to find in the open man. Now the pass to Howard. Down low. Harris with him. And it's Gordon picking him up. Harris's shot is off. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. Well, no luck. It's almost as if there's a lid on the hoop for him right now. He still hasn't gotten one to fall. And slam dunk by Harris. I tell you what, I love the unselfishness of Ben Simmons. He's got delight in setting up his teammates. And if they're open, they get the ball. There's Wall. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. Three-pointer. And the rebound goes to Howard. Howard's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Simmons with it. He's got eight. It's deflected. And it's Houston on the break. Wall's running. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. The NBA continues to build international academies to develop prospects from other countries. Already, academy graduates are playing Division I college basketball. And before long, NBA players should start emerging from that pipeline. He continues to reach out to find overlooked youngsters who have a gift and give them the opportunity. Guys? Outstanding, David. Thank you. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Rockets trail by 17. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. And it's blocked by Simmons. He's having a tough quarter scoring the basketball and able to help them close this gap. Here's Green. Rebounded by Tucker. Houston's gone 104 from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Gordon, the pass to Wall. With some art, rejected by Harris. What a block from Harris. Terrific work there. Still a ways to go between now and the three-point contest, but it's always fun to talk about it. Let's see who has the best shot to earn a spot in this year's event. And maybe this list changes between now and All-Star Weekend, but I don't think anybody would be disappointed if it stays exactly the same as it is right now. Look at Wall. He's going to need to leapfrog quite a few great shooters if he's going to be a part of the three-point festivities in All-Star Weekend, but, you know, maybe he can do it. I mean, it, anything's possible, especially if he has a few big games from beyond the arc before All-Star Weekend. That'd give him a nice bump in the voting. And as the votes keep pouring in, we'll keep you updated on any changes to that list. It looks like we're going to have quite a group. Man, you talk about the ultimate marksman's list here, Kevin. Maybe this will be the year somebody gets that perfect score. Timeout called the Rockets. Greg, as a point guard, you must have had so much fun being surrounded by so much terrific talent at UNLV. You know, Larry Johnson, Stacey Allman, I mean, I could go on and on. And you're right, I was blessed to play alongside these guys. They were incredible talents, finishers. And, you know, you don't always appreciate it going through that moment, but the sure. fact that we're all still close and stay in contact, uh, man, what an awesome experience to be a part of that team. Chemistry must have been off the charts on that team. It was, and we had a lot of personalities, man. It was a different era back then, uh, but I tell you, again, I wouldn't trade that experience for anything.
Macklemore. And it's Victor Oladipo in for John Wall. Philadelphia also making some changes. Joel Embiid comes in for Dwight Howard. And Matisse Thibel subbed in for Cork Miles. Philadelphia. They lead by 20. It's the most good. And they can't put an end to this drought. The Sixers have gone 7 to 13 for the field since the start of the second. And they double up Simmons. High arcing shot. Five on the clock. Here's Fable. That one off the back iron and out. Simmons against Oladip. It's Porter outside. Houston with it down to Oladipo. A three-point. Now the 76ers with it. They're on a 13-5 run here. is Thibel. He averages about uh, five points a game. The shot is good. It's his second bucket in five tries. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now, here's Tucker. He kicks to Oladipo. Oladipo against Harris. Now here's MB. Not a lot of room. And his offensive struggles continue. Embiid's got three of his nine shots to fall. And Kevin Porter Jr., all the issues you'd expect from a rookie break. Unforced errors, a few too many fouls and turnovers. But as you and I were talking, and as the coaches told us, the upside is huge. I tell you, Kev, his first step with the ball in his hands is incredible. Can burst by defenders like they're waiting at a bus stop. Take Once break, he matures, he is going Two to be shots. a handful to deal with. That's good from Tucker. You know, starting out in the D League, then bouncing around the international circuit. Tucker took the long, hard road to get here. Catching up on the changes for Philadelphia. Shake Milton, he's checked in for Green. Curry comes in for Matisse Thibel. And Maxie's subbed in for Ben Simmons. Both free throws, good from Tucker. They've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing. Out to the wing. Looking to get back on track here, and he hits the jumper for two. Embiid's got nine. Joel Embiid has a nice shooting touch and does not lack for confidence, and seems to be getting better in the mid-range area. And Oladipo, here we go. Laid in with a nice touch off the ball. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. Now, here's Maxi, headed by Oladipo. But they were... Oh, what a finish! Good. Great game for him, double-double now. 11 points and 12 rebounds. Now, Oladipo, he's certainly been a consistent piece of their offense, averaging about 14 and a half points a game. And Tucker kicks to Oladipo. There's a screen. Four on the shot clock. This one for three. Good D by Embiid. The 76ers leading by 22. Here's Max. Pass to Harris. And here's Embiid. Guarded by Tucker. He tries for three. He goes up again. Outside for Curry. Trills it from outside. Curry's got his second basket of the night. This is why you pay Seth Curry the big contract, the big money. His range is unlimited. Passes it to Nwaba. Back to Oladipo. Oh. 
Houston needs to get a shot. Tucker. Rebound by the 76ers. Embiid's got 15 rebounds here tonight. 156 left in the first half. Curry on the wing. 76ers moving the ball around. Let's it go from deep. Victor Oladipo grabs the miss. Oladipo's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Going inside. That one, no good. And the 76ers go the other way with it. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Milton finds Embiid. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And the foul called on the Houston Rockets. Well, I tell you, it's pretty obvious. Embiid takes pride in and enjoys tricking his defenders and getting them to jump on the pump fake. The free throw drops for Embiid. DeMarcus Cousins is checked in for P.J. Tucker. And Embiid drops them both. So Oladipo will bring it up for the Houston Rockets. They've got the Hawks ahead of them in their next game, and it's in Atlanta. That'll be the first half of a two-game trip to end the run. Embiid's got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Now, here's Maxi. Harris looking it over. Shot clock at six. Philadelphia needs to get a shot off. That shot a little beyond his normal range. Maxie's got five now. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Here's Mwaba. And so it looks like the Rockets will retain possession here. Shot in game clock. Curry passes to Embiid. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Embiid's got eight points here in this quarter. Oladipo with the ball. And he gets it to go. And Oladipo's handle is, is tight now. I mean, so good at... Freezing the defense and then blowing right by whoever's on him. Got a nice little hesitation move in the ball handling pack. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. 76ers ahead, delivering the blowout. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks a lot, Kevin. DeMarcus, you guys have had chances, but you haven't taken advantage of those chances. What do you say to the team? Um, that's something I've been preaching on. Um, they're giving us a lot of opportunities, and we got to do something with it. So hopefully we can keep them missing shots and we can um, get something out of it. We'll see what happens in the second half. Thanks, DeMarcus. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, for that interview, and we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. SRO. Standing room only. Ooh, nice. I'm your host, Ernie Johnson. Got Shaq here. Got Kenny the Jet. Philadelphia finds themselves ahead after two quarters. They are completely in control of the game, leading by a massive amount. Kenny, give us your take. The reason they're out front, Ernie, Joel Embiid. His assertiveness on offense is so effective. Breaking through the defense and getting to his spots. They just can't stop him. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Rockets. 
they didn't show enough toughness in, in the paint on D. When you're getting dominated in the post, it sets a bad tone. You always want to win that physical battle in the area. Otherwise, you, you wind up with a score like this. I don't believe I'm watching this. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Joel and Bede has been sensational. Well, with the double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. Yeah, he's got that locked-in look in his eyes tonight, and he's not going to start taking it easy. I think he's going to be going hard until that final whistle blows. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. So on the floor for Philadelphia. Harrison and Bede hold down the post for him. Matisse Thibel's out there with Ben Simmons, and it's Green in at the small fold. Here's Thibel. The Rockets pull it in. Cousins has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And here's Wall. Over Simmons. Walls shot is off. The inside just a bit too congested for him to get the usual shot he would have with Rhythm. Thibault kicks to Green. Outside, Simmons. Shot clock at five. And he drives in. Simmons slams it in. It's really hard to say too much about Simmons. I mean, bouncing off defenders like they're not even there. Inside. And the rejection. Wall, no luck. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets yanked soon. I mean, that's how bad his shot selection has been. Simmons dishes to Embiid. Simmons against Wall. Ben Simmons gets the bucket. Simmons got four points in the quarter. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touching. Pass to House. Back to Wall. Plays it up and puts it in. Inside, outside. It, it doesn't matter. Like how Wall attacks and looks to score when the opportunity presents itself. Now here's Simmons. 14 points for him. Outside, Green. He feeds it to Embiid. Rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Simmons against Wall. Can't connect from 13 feet out. Well, that's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. The try by Simmons. In it goes for the eighth time in ten tries. Simmons putting his outstanding athleticism to use on that drive. A remarkable penetrator who uh, knows exactly how to carve up the defense. Now here's Wall. Screen by Cousins. Wall passes to Cousins. Bucket is good. I like the play call. Very solid. Making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. A pass to Embiid. to Simmons. Oh, the lob for Simmons. Takes the alley -oop pass and dunks it down. Phenomenal timing that time, guys, from Simmons. I mean, leaving the ground once the pass was released and then tearing the basket almost out of the glass. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge who's reporting from the sideline. Kevin, thank you. Now, we have seen continued growth with the NBA's affiliated leagues the last few years about the explosion in popularity of the WNBA, the Basketball Africa League, expansion of the 2K League, greater pay in the WNBA and the G League pathway, along with the unionization of G League players. The league continues to show its commitment to expanding opportunities on multiple levels. Guys, back to you. Thank you, David. And here's Wall. After Tobias Harris getting his shot to go from deep, Wall. Takes a shot at 
the elbow. Jump shot is good. Wall's got four points this quarter. You know, Wall's done a nice job, in my opinion, of improving his mechanics with his shot. It's not quite a pure release, but much, much better than it was a couple of seasons ago. And he's really become effective from the mid-range area. Pulls it from 20. And B, no good. Hey, how about imagining if they were hitting their shots, how big the lead could be? But so far, that's not been the case. And that one comes up a bit short. 76ers have gotten five of eight shots to fall for them in the third quarter. A nice 62% for the field. Simmons passes to Harris. Here's Embiid. Fibel on the wing, defended by Gordon. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Now let's take a moment to check out the steals. Number five is John Wall. And, and he's been a rock for them defensively. Just so many steals for him this year, and, and so many of them have been in key moments for his team. Shooting two. Free throw drops in there for Thibault. Then McLemore, he's checked in for Houston. Howard's checked in for Philadelphia. Korkmaz comes in for Green. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. And it's Wall with the ball for Houston. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. The shot will not fall. Simmons with the defensive effort. Pass to Howard. Left block shot on the way. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got his sixth assist on the night. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint and continue to score consistently. Now, here's Wall. He's got five. Fires for three. Another miss by Houston. For Philadelphia, they've gone six and nine from the floor here in the second half. They've got to be happy with that. Pass to Embiid. Setting the pick for MB. And it's Howard finishing it off. Great timing and recognition as Howard is able to go up for the alley oop. Houston's getting blank from three point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Here's Wall, and it's blocked by Simmons. And he's able to get it back. Wall's shot is off. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Oh. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. And while we have a chance, how about the numbers for Simmons? First in field goal percentage, 15th in blocks, and he's in the top 20 in steals, bringing that focus and intensity at both ends. And you're right. He's been the pinnacle of scoring efficiency. Never seems to take a take bad a shot. That's a why he's tops in Two field shot. goal percentage. And the first one at the line is good. You know what? Still a consistent double-double threat. Every game is Howard wanting to prove how valuable he is. The 76ers making a switch here. Curry's checked in. And so Howard nails both of them. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. Here's Porter. The Rockets with another miss. Take it at the end of the first round in 2016. Spent a year overseas before joining the NBA and didn't play much early on. But last season he showed he's a starting caliber player. Now here's Oladipo. He has six. Outside Porter. Six to shoot. 
Here's Cousins. Count that one. Cousins has got six. Alec Korkmaz standing 6'7". Greg, there's a lot to like. And his size can be a huge advantage in certain matchups, Kevin. Great wingspan also lets him grab a fair amount of steel. Has worked hard to get where he is and still showing room to grow. Howard setting the pick for MB. And he banks in the layup. He's got 17. Can't allow MB to hurt you like that. I mean, he's very gifted at finishing on the drive. Outside. To the paint and stolen by Simmons. Here's McLemore. Back to Oladipo. Pass to Cousins. Kicks it to Porter. Down to five on the shot clock. Oladipo for three. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Here's Simmons. 18 points for him. And the pass to Howard. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. Here's MB. Porter pulls it in. You know what? Just a little fancy on that possession there. Just go up in rhythm. And there's a whistle, and that's going to go on Simmons. That'll be his second foul of the game. Houston making a switch. Baba's checked in. Then for the 76ers, Shake Milton. He's checked in for Furkan Korkmaz. And Maxi subbed in for Simmons. And we just got a second look there at the exceptional mobile one block. And he's all over that shot. Has it read the whole way and gets the position he needs to make a play. Here's Oladipo. He's got six. Driving inside. Slammed home and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. That one on Maxi. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stance for the 76ers? Their defense has been outstanding. Closing out on shots and blocking a few as well. And guys, I think you've got to give them credit for the number of steals they've taken away. I mean, a lot of effort on the defense from them tonight. Sixers have gone 8 of 12 from the field since the beginning of the third. As to Howard. To the middle. Now, here's Maxi. Embiid trying to break loose. Another miss by Philadelphia. Yeah, that's a head scratch there. I, I don't know how he could think that's a good shot. That's not who they want out there jacking up threes. Now, here's McLemore. Oladipo for three. Dwight Howard pulls it in. Howard's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Maxi passes to Embiid. And they double up Embiid. Shoots a three. Offensive rebound. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Embiid is very, very effective on the boards. Carves out so much space with his body to get to those rebounds. He is three for three from the free throw line. And with numbers like this, how about 87% on the year? He's been somebody they love having at the line. And it's clear that's a change for the better from what he was able to do at the free throw line a year What's ago, up? guys. Houston, they're shooting only 21% from the field so far. Outside, Porter. The feed to McLemore. Here's Tate, and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack for confidence. That's well done there. I mean, don't even give him a chance to get to the block. Get in tight and finish at the rim. Shooting one. Philadelphia's 
on 1 of 3 from downtown since halftime. Building the pass to Kirk. Feeds to MP. Tanked in off the glass. Embiid's got seven points for the quarter. Yeah, you know, he's one of the toughest matchups in the game without question. Embiid is excellent at staying aggressive when he's hot. Now, here's Porter. Passes it to McLemore. A three-pointer, no good. And here's Embiid. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. The Oklahoma City Thunder will be in town for the next one. That'll be the first of two straight at home. Curry passes to Maxi. No good on the triple. Yeah, you know, he hasn't contributed well scoring the ball, but obviously his teammates have. Porter kicks to McLemore. Here's the floater. Excellent timing by Howard. He knows exactly when to jump to deny shot at him. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Ben McLemore. P.J. And uh, the 76 are shooting 47% from the floor, getting it done. Here he goes. A shot by Milton, no good. The Rockets shooting pretty little 29% since the break. To the inside, and stolen by Howard. And here's Maxi. Pass to Howard. Inside. And Embiid, the bucket on the assist by Howard. Embiid's got nine points here in the second half. And for Houston, they're shooting a rough 22% so far in this one. Oladipo, the pass to Nwaba. Shoots over Embiid. And Embiid with the block, but he recovers it. Five on the clock. Oladipo for three. Milton grabs the board. 76ers shooting in the third quarter has been brilliant up around 58%. There's the pass to Embiid. And here's Maxi. Back to Embiid. And he converts the layup. Embiid's got 26. Embiid is a very assertive player, a player who fights the defense on these contact finishes and does so with confidence. And so the ball out of bounds. Howard touched it last. Take a risk with those long passes. They're lucky the D couldn't collect it. Oladipo for three. Peter. Ringing the bell. That's the way to close a quarter. Talk about lifting up a team and energizing them at the end of a quarter. A three at the buzzer. That'll do it. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. 76ers ahead, running away with it. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action when we return. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and, and what a beautiful feat. For me, next to the big-time alley-oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet-looking NBA highlights. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. They've got Karouche. Exum is out there with Jones. And it's Tate in at the five. Down low. It's the five for Houston right now. Here's Karouche. Houston moving it around. Rocket six. Floats one up. Bradley with some nice D. Philadelphia shooting 48% for the field. Not bad at all. Pass to Thibault. To the middle. Maxi, no good. Boy, that is awesome defense, guys, against a capable finisher. Well done. I'm sure the coaches love that. Here's Nwaba. Tate, guarded by Brad. Tate, the pass to Axel. Takes a three. And it's 
Philadelphia with the rebound. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Eibel with the ball. And, you know, even though they're on top, they're winning. I mean, they could use more from him. Trying to shut the door on this one. Tate, the pass to X. Here's Mwaba, back to Exum. It's going to be out of bounds. The Rockets will retain possession. And McLemore is checked in for Houston. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. Now, Theibel. Got a hand on it. Now here's Jones. In the corner, it's McLemore. And a miss there on the triple. Maxi passes to Brant. Here's Poirier. Here's Korkmaz. Shoots over Exum. Waba with the rebound. Waba's got his sixth rebound on the night. Exum passes to McLemore. Back to Exum. Puts up a three. Another miss by Houston. The 76ers have gotten off to a rough start in the fourth quarter, going 0 for 4 so far. He passes to Brent. Out to the right wing. And here's Maxi. Four on the clock. Passes it to Poirier. Second shot opportunity. And it's good on the way up. Poirier's got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for Philadelphia. Houston's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Pass to Karouch. And that comes off the assist by Exum. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Now, here's Maxi. The pass to Poirier. Now, here's Maxi. We hear about the extinction of great NBA big men. Do you see it that way? And if so... Greg, is the game that has changed or perhaps a dip in the talent at that position has changed? You know, you think back to the likes of Russell, Will, Kareem, and Hakeem, Shoot and two. Robinson, and Shaq. You, you, some would say, well, we just got lucky. But in a lot of ways, we still have the dominance of the big man. They just play more outside of the paint, right? You know, Giannis. You look at what he can do. Anthony Davis and... The way he plays the game. I mean, LeBron, in essence, is a big man. I mean, you still can dominate the game as a big. It's just that you now can actually, in some respects, have more impact because you are involved in more facets of the game. Houston making a switch here. Cousins is checked in. And he's good on the second. Rockets have gone just one of six in the field to start the fourth quarter. A bit of a slowdown for them right now. And the shot is long. The 76ers shooting pretty well at 46% from the floor. Here's Maxi. Let's a floater go. Cross contact on the shot and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Yeah, outstanding job there of taking the harm and still able to finish. Yeah, he imposed his will on the defense that time. He was not going to be denied right there. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot.
We know the NBA is looking to get rid of the one-and-done rule pretty soon. Adam Silver, Greg, saying he thinks the league can create a better system. Do you think so? I think he can, they can create a better system for some. Um, I think the world of the G League, no doubt, it is instrumental in that new system. Uh, now these young rookies can get the playing time in lower tier pro games as they continue to develop. But I think still the collegiate game plays a significant role. The experience of going to college even for a year uh, can be invaluable. There are, there are pros both ways, college or the G League. You agree? I, I do. I'm just glad it's not a one-size-fits-all proposition. Now you have the option. Not every kid wants to go to college and have that experience. Cousins, it doesn't go for him. And Philadelphia the other way now. And here's Maxi. Bradley finds Thibel. And here's Maxi. Bradley trying to break three. Another miss by Philadelphia. One made three form for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. Pass to McLemore. Back to Jones. Uh, a floater. Foul call. Looked like the D didn't get there in time. And he'll shoot free throws. And that one falls for Jones. And the league taking steps to discourage teams, Greg, from tossing away seasons in search of high draft picks. Has enough been done, you think, in that regard? You can, we'll see. <laughs> I'll tell you, the, the idea of a play in <laughs> that's tournament a tough one, isn't it? Oh, for the last a... few playoff spots, I think that's a good idea, actually. Uh, yeah. It might keep more teams in the hunt down the stretch. Uh, and I think the onus also if the fans put enough pressure on their teams to try to develop what they have and not always put it on the future, uh, I think that's going to help. But I, I think you're going to always have a little bit of that moving forward. Sinks the three-pointer. The man has no heart, and, and that's poor defense for a team that has a long way to catch up. They look pretty demoralized to me, and that always shows through at the defensive end first. Here's Cousins. Philadelphia able to drain the three. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. And that efficiency is, you know, so critical when you're looking to overcome a deficit. You've got to be close to perfect and can't waste scoring opportunities. Two shots. Last on the first. And he can't get the first one. That's off as well, so he misses both. Down the stretch of last season, Greg, we saw some teams resting healthy players, even ones out of the playoff hunt, and they got fined. But is the, the amount, which I think is about 25000 is that enough to discourage that tactic? You know, I don't think it is. Uh, not when team revenues are measured in the hundreds of millions. And you got to do more to keep them honest, but by the same token, you know, if I got 100, 200 million invested in the guy, I want to protect my investment. And so mm -hmm. if I can rest them here or there and prolong their career, I think my organization is all the better for it. And so here is Houston after the Sixers pick up two. Exum passes to Karouche. Exum with it. He lobs it up. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one up. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> well, you need both to make it special. And they pulled it off just right. Here's Simmons. No oh, good off the back of the rim. Houston's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Passes to McLemore. 
Here's Cousins. Looking to get it going. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. When Cousins plays with that kind of force, he really puts the defense in a pickle and typically leads to him being fouled. At the line for two. And that one falls for DeMarcus Cousins. Greg, after we saw top prospects like LaMelo Ball and R.J. Hampton playing a year in Australia, the NBA G League sweetened the deal to attract those blue chippers to this, uh, to this G League, which I think is a very interesting topic and a, and a very interesting way to go. It, it is. You know, I think the salaries now can exceed a half million dollars, not to mention the endorsement deal that they're on a single team that's built around their needs certainly an enticing option for those who want to skip to college right does this affect colleges in your opinion and their recruiting not at all you're going to love your school no matter who plays for them especially if you're winning controlling the defensive glass has been a problem here tonight. big difference in second chance points that makes it tough pass to Karouche it's a nice passing there by Houston the pass to Cousins. Back to Exum. Let's the three fly. Hands it from downtown. Exum's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And here's Simmons. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Joe, defended by Jones. Houston's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Karouch passes to Exum. Back to Karouch. And he bangs it home with one hand. Outstanding entry pass there. He knew exactly where to go with the ball. Well, in the dunk contest, we saw Michael Jordan take on Dominique Wilkins. These days, not as many star players are participating in these skills competitions like uh, Greg the slam dunk. I think it's a great point you raise, Kevin. And I think in part because back in that era, you know, the reality is guys didn't make the kind of dollars they make today. Uh, and there was more risk, I guess, in the mindset of guys today. And they did, didn't want to take that challenge on. So I, I, I wish we would see more of our stars in the slam dunk contest. But yes, I yes. don't think that's going to be the case, unfortunately, uh, as, as much as we'd all like to see it. Now here's Brent. Now Exum. Pass to McLemore. Over Milton. McLemore, no good. The 76ers shooting in the fourth quarter, not pretty, down around 29%. Now, here's Milton. He's guarded closely. Over to the wing. Passes it to Poirier. For the three. Cranes it from beyond the arc. Milton's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Great hustle on display, and you know what? It's paying off with those second chance points. Boy, you can get a lot of momentum getting a timely offensive rebound, but they've had more than their share. Now, here's Exum. Rebound by the 76ers. Bradley's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Now, here's Maxi. D right on him. Here's Poirier. Jamarcus Cousins comes up with the rebound. And for Houston, they're shooting the fourth quarter, not pretty down around 29%. Now, here's Exum. At the elbow, it's Cousins over Bradley. Another miss by Houston. I love the anticipation defensively there to get it to the perfect spot. Here's Max. 125 left in the fourth quarter. Poirier passes to Branton. 
Here's Maxi, And it comes off the front of the rim. Houston's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the 76ers. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And so now on the year, they'll have 35 wins to their credit. And in a two-game season series, you always want to take charge of game one and, and exactly what they're doing here tonight against the Rockets. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Joel Embiid. And the way he rebounded, he surely was a spark for the team as he was securing everything that came off the iron. And the shot goes in from Karuch. There's 21 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And here is Milton. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. And now, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Joel, you took over offensively. What went into finding that rhythm? I thought I got the shots that I wanted and I played into the floor of the offense and my teammates were finding me, so I just knocked down some shots. Well, they were smart to look for you, man, because you had it going on, man. Congrats. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Alden, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA.